Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie, where I talk about different tech tutorials and how to become a freelancer. Today I want to show you some practical use examples with the new GPT-40. This is completely free in ChatGPT. You do not need a paid subscription in order to use this. There are a lot of videos on this talking about all the complex ins and outs of this new model, and I just want to show you some basic uses for personal use, freelancing, and business. OpenAI is still rolling out some new tools, but over the coming weeks, ChatGPT free users will have access to many other features, including being able to use GPTs from the GPT store for free. So I'm just gonna show you what's available right now, and I'm going to log into my free ChatGPT account to show you what you can do right now using this new model. So once you open up your ChatGPT account, you'll be able to start using GPT-40. If you click here at the top, you can see that I'm logged into my free account and not the plus plan. And the first demonstration we're going to do is creating social media content. We're also going to compare it with the older free model to see how much better it is. So imagine that you have like a health blog like this and you wanna come up with a big calendar so you have lots of content to easily post. So I'm going to go ahead and paste the prompt I have prepared. Create a social media content calendar for the next seven days for my health and fitness Instagram page in table format. And then column one, the date, column two, a detailed post caption including hashtags, column three, a healthy smoothie or salad recipe with ingredients and step-by-step -step instructions, column four, an image prompt idea that describes what the photo should look like. Please use bullet points and paragraph breaks to make everything clean and easy to read. And then just click enter. So this is what ChatGPT has come up with with the new image model. It's just what I asked for. We've got the day, we've got the caption, a recipe, and then an image prompt. So if you don't have ChatGPT+, Plus, you can't create images right now in the free version of ChatGPT, but you could just copy the image prompt, for example, and then use Bing Images, which is completely free, and just paste that in here. And just like that, you have an awesome, beautiful, unique AI image you can use in your social media posts. So now let's try this same prompt, but we want to change the model to see what it will come up with in GPT 3.5. Remember right now I'm using my free account just so you can see it if you don't have the paid version. So this is what the 3.5 model has come up with and you can see it doesn't have any emojis. It still gives me what I need, but if we flip back here with these arrows, you can see the original one and the new model just sounds more human even. Look at day six, weekend vibes with this avocado chickpea salad, simple, healthy, and oh so tasty. So it just sounds more like a human being wrote it although the 3.5 model is also fine. And you can just flip through if you keep regenerating different ones just by clicking on change model. You can see this one was also generated with the 4.0 and this one again with the 3.5. One thing I also want to note is that there are limits to using this model in the free version. So if you have the free plan, you'll be able to use it every day, but plus users will have a message limit that's up to five times greater than free users. So the next demo I want to show you is how this model will help you proofread and edit your texts. A lot of my subscribers are interested in transcription work or writing. So let's test out this model. I'm going to write, so please proofread and edit any punctuation or capitalization errors in the text I have copied below. Do not change the grammar or change any words. If you believe that something has been transcribed incorrectly, you may make suggested changes in boldened brackets. Provide proper formatting with spaces and paragraph breaks where needed. And then I'm going to paste the text and then press enter. Okay, so you can see just how quickly they are doing this. Oh, this is just excellent. I mean, they've added appropriate commas. They've broken up the sentences as needed. This can help you with adding subtitles to your YouTube videos even. And even the formatting that they've added is just perfect. As you can see here, you know, once you sign on to Upwork, you're going to see some changes right here. Instead of my jobs, it now says deliver work. They know that I'm talking about these tabs and are correctly adding quotation marks around it so it's easier to understand. Now I want to try this with the 3.5 model and see how it will do. So you can see this is in real time and it's a lot slower than the new model. I left the new model in real time as it was correcting my text and it was so fast. This is a lot slower, so you have to be a bit more patient. So that's just another one of the benefits of the newer model. So with this same prompt, it actually worked out quite well just using 3.5. The paragraphs are a bit longer, 
So I do prefer the first one because it's broken it down in a nicer way. Sometimes I've had bad results with 3.5 where near the end they've started changing the words and doing their own thing. But it looks like in this one they have followed my instructions correctly. So the next demo we're going to do is with article writing. Now for this I wanted to log into my standard plus ChatGPT account. So we can test the difference between ChatGPT 4.0 and the regular 4 model and also 3.5. This time I also want to generate a picture, which again, you can only do with the plus version of ChatGPT, but I'm going to paste this prompt here. Write a 500 word article for a blog about marketing. The article should be about the five most important SEO strategies for ranking YouTube videos. Create a relevant image to go along with the article. The tone should be friendly, fun, and informative. So here they have a little image for us and then also the article and it looks pretty good. They have the different headings and even little tips and it's maintaining this fun, friendly, informative tone that I've asked for. This image would need some adjustments. A lot of times with these types of images, they can make mistakes with the text, but this is easily editable in Photoshop or you could just try to regenerate that. So I want to change the model. I'm going to click here and we're going to try it with GPT-4. So this is what it's come up with, with GPT-4. I actually like this image better, but in terms of the article, I definitely think the newer model has a better output. We have the five different tips here, but if we go back, you can see with the newer model, it's pretty much ready to publish. We have tips under each section. There's even bonus tips. There's a nice little conclusion and a nice little introduction, and it looks more like a standard article that you'd find when you're searching for something on Google versus this one here. And the second option here is using ChatGPT Plus, so this would even be a better output than what you would expect with ChatGPT 3.5. In terms of article writing, I definitely think there is improvement as well, especially because you're able to use ChatGPT 4.0 in the free version. So now I want to try how this new model works with translation and translating text into different languages. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to translate this article into Spanish. I mean, this looks good to me. I do speak Spanish. I'm not perfect at it, so I couldn't tell you if there were any major errors, but I want to try this with GPT-4 as well, just to see if there is a big difference. So from what I can see, translation is almost identical for both GPT-4 and GPT-4.0. So for Plus users, there isn't much of a difference, but if you're using the free plan of ChatGPT, you're very likely to get a much better translation output with ChatGPT-4.0 than you would with GPT-3.5. So finally, I want to show a demonstration of how the new model can analyze photos that you upload. So as I said before, OpenAI is starting to roll out more advanced tools to ChatGPT free users over the coming weeks. And this will include being able to analyze data and create charts, chat about photos you take, and upload files. So right now, the ChatGPT free users can't upload files, but that will be coming shortly. So I want to show you in my plus plan how the new model can analyze photos. First, I'm going to switch to GPT-4. So I'm going to click here on the attach button and I'm going to upload a picture of a thumbnail I created for my YouTube video and say, here's a thumbnail for my new YouTube video. Please provide a video description for my video that is in a fun, friendly tone and just see what they come up with. So this is what GPT-4 came up with and it wasn't very good. I don't know who Emily is. It says, join Emily as she guides you through five practical uses. I'm Jennifer. <laughs> so, you know, this wasn't great. I've seen GPT-4 do better. So I tried it with GPT-4.0 and it was much better. But there are so many other things that you can do. If we go here to the OpenAI website, you're also able to upload documents like PDF files or spreadsheets. And you can see here in their example, create a chart showing average engagement by channel based on this spreadsheet. And just like that, the new model was able to create a chart based on the information from this spreadsheet. So this has just been a quick video to show you some practical uses of the new ChatGPT 4.0 model. And I think it's going to be especially useful for people who do not subscribe to ChatGPT Plus because you're going to get a better output than you would with ChatGPT 3.5. If there's anything else that you have tried and you want to share, let me know in the comment section and I'll see you all in my next tutorial.